It was supposed to be paradise, a lush forest by the shores of Lake Tonganika, home to a group of chimpanzees who for years lived, played, and raised their young in peace. But in 1974, paradise turned to war. And what followed shocked the world. This is the true story of the Gombe Chimpanzee War, a four-year conflict that proved violence isn't uniquely human, it's in our blood. And theirs. In the late 1960s, primatologist Jane Goodall was documenting what many thought was a perfect society. The Gombe chimpanzees, intelligent, emotional, even affectionate. They laughed, they hugged, they used tools, and they seemed to live in harmony. But that peace depended on one thing, leadership. When the group's powerful alpha male died, everything began to fall apart. Without a leader, the Gombe community fractured, alliances formed, old friendships broke, and hidden rivalries came to the surface. By 1971, the community had split in two, the Kasakala in the north and the Kahama in the south. For a while, they kept their distance, avoiding one another almost pretending the other side didn't exist. But tension was growing. The forest was no longer big enough for both groups. The competition for food, territory, and mating rights turned neighbor into enemy. And soon, the first blood would be spilled. January 1974. Six male Kasakala chimps moved silently through the underbrush. Their target? A lone Kahama Mayo named Godi. They corner him. The attack is swift, brutal, and final. When it was over, Godi was dead. The first casualty in what would become a four-year war. From that moment on, no one was safe. The Kasakala launched raid after raid. They moved like soldiers, silent, coordinated, waiting for the perfect moment to ambush. Over the next four years, they hunted down every member of the rival group. Sometimes they killed quickly. Sometimes they didn't. Jane Goodall, who witnessed much of this, wrote later, Often when I woke in the night, horrific pictures sprang to mind. Satan, cupping his hand below Sniff's chin to drink the blood that welled from a wound on his face. Rudolph hurling a four-pound rock at Godi's body. Jomeo tearing a strip of skin from Day's thigh. It was the first time anyone had seen chimpanzees wage organized, deliberate war. By 1978, the Kahama group was gone. Every male had been killed. The Kasakela took over their land, expanding their territory and claiming the females that survived. The war was over, but it changed everything we thought we knew about ourselves. For decades, we believed war was uniquely human, a product of our intelligence, our culture, our politics. But the Gombe Chimpanzee War proved otherwise. These apes didn't fight for ideology. They fought for dominance, survival, and power, just like us. In the end, the line between animal and human is thinner than we'd like to admit. And sometimes when we look into their eyes, we might just see a reflection of ourselves.